Right, today's topic is about mean, median, mode, and mid-range. So we have, we're still working with statistics, we're still working with data, um, things of that nature. And so today we have four things we're going to learn how to do, or at least kind of revisit how to do um, <clears throat> here. So we have, first thing we have is we have our set of numbers, we have our data set. And so we have a set of numbers here, and we're going to find mean, mean median, mode, and mid-range of uh, all the numbers here. Okay. So first thing we do, we'll find the mean. Okay. So the mean, so the mean is your average, right? It's your average. It's your average number. It's your average of all the numbers together. Okay. So the way we find the mean is we add up all the numbers in the data and then divide by how many numbers there are. Okay. So that's for, so it doesn't matter what order they're in. Okay, first thing we gotta do is add them all up. So let's do that. So look at our calculator here. We got five, so we got five plus nine plus three plus two plus ten plus five plus five plus three plus one plus four plus seven plus eight, plus four, plus five, plus six, <clears throat> now our total is 77. So, add all these numbers up, add, them, add, add it all up, we have 77, okay? Now, we have to count how many numbers there are and divide it. So it's the, our total number divided by how many there are. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 15 numbers. Okay. So it's our total number added all up. Okay. Divided by our number we have 15. And when we do that, 77 divided by 15, our answer 5.13. Repeating. Okay. So once again mean and you can write this down if you want mean equals add all numbers add all numbers and <laughs> it's been a while since I've wrote and divide by how many there are. Okay. So that's our so that's what the mean is, okay. Add all the numbers and divide by how many there are. Okay, and that's really all there is to the mean, to find the average, okay? This is a life skill, this is something you're gonna be doing a lot during life, is figuring out averages of numbers, you know, at means of numbers. Um it's something that everyone does in their jobs and in their life, okay? So that's our first step. We found our mean of our, of our data is 5.13. So the average number of all these numbers is 5.13, okay? Now next we have the median, okay? So the median is our middle number, all right? So median, Median is middle number. Okay. So that's what that is. Okay. Now it's the middle number when our numbers are all in order from lowest to greatest, from low, lowest to highest. Okay. So the first thing I have to do when we find the median, I have to put them from lowest to highest. So let's do, go ahead and do that now. Okay. So we'll just do it down here. So our lowest number is one. If you want, you can cross them out as you go so you know like where you are, okay? So one, we have two, okay? We have three, and then we have another three, all right? We have four here, and a four here. And then we have, we have some fives. We have five here, we have five here, we have a five here, and we have one more five here, okay? We have our six, 
and then we have a seven and an eight and then a nine and ten. All right, so we should have 15, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so 15 numbers, okay? So now they're, in, now they're in rank from lowest to highest, okay? So it's a middle number, okay? So now we, so if you want to do it, easy way you can do it is you can, you can do, and I'm sure you all remember doing this when you first learned the first time. You just start from your first number and your last number, and you kind of just go inwards one at a time, right? So you go, you know, go here and then here, right? And then... Uh, and then <laughs> three and eight and three and seven, right? And then four and six, uh, boom. And our middle number is five. Okay, so that's so that's our median. It's five. Okay, it's just, it's our middle number, right? If there's if there's fifteen numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's our middle number. Now, what if you have a set of data where you have an even amount of numbers, where you have two numbers in the middle instead of one? Well, that's a very easy solution. I'm gonna go ahead and erase all this up here. Okay. So what if we had, let's just do a different set of numbers real quick. What if we had, um, one, two, two, um, no, three, five, and six, okay? So we have an even set of numbers, right? So if we count in from here, and then here, and here, we have two numbers in the middle, okay? Our two numbers here in the middle are two and three, okay? So we have to figure out what the, what the middle of that, uh, what, what number is between those two numbers. So real simple, how you can do this is if is you know there's if you just kind of sometimes you just kind of know like two and three what number is right in the middle of two and three well we know that's it's two and a half right two point five right but if you want to do it, another way to do it is very simple it's kind of like a mini version of, the, of finding the average add the two numbers up divide by two okay it's basically your average of your numbers there right so if we did two plus three we get five and because there's two numbers. We divide that by two and we get 2.5 or two and a half or however you want to do it, either one, okay? Doesn't matter, either one, okay? But that's still gonna be our middle. So if you have a median with two numbers in the middle, add them up, divide by two to find your middle number there, okay? But remember, for median, the numbers have to be in order and I'll write that down here. So median is middle number when numbers are in order low to high. Okay. I apologize for my handwriting. I have not written <laughs> in a while. And being out of school for this long, you know, it happens over the summer too. When I'm o over the summer, I lose all abilities to write things. So it's the same same deal. But so median, all right, middle number when the numbers are in order from low to high. Okay, make, that's a very important part. It has to be in order. That's very important for the for the median. Okay. So you do that. Pause it, write it down. Okay, next. The mode. So our mode, our mode is the number that appears the most times, okay? And it's, it's simple to remember with the mode because it sounds like most, right? Mode, most, okay? So that's the number you're gonna be looking for that appears the most often. Well. Our numbers here are already in order. So it's gonna be real easy to figure out which one appears the most often, most times. So if you look at the numbers, which number appears more than any other number? Well, it's very simple. Five.
Five. That's that's it. That's 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 all the mode is. What number appears most times? Five. And that's it. N nothing more to it. So what if now? What if you have a a, a thing where you, let's just for example let's just take out, um. Let's take out um. Well, no. All right, I'll just do this. What if we add? Right. Then you have this, and you have four tens and four fives, right? So if you have two numbers that have the, the amount, then your mode is going to be both of them. It's both five and ten, okay? So it's just whatever, period, whatever number appears the most often. And like I said, if it's more than one number, it's fine. You can put both numbers. That's perfectly all right. All right. I'm going to erase that back to our original numbers, okay? But for, the, for our, our example here, our mode is five, okay? Now, so I'm gonna write that down for you guys. Mode is uh, number number that appears most often. Oops. Ah. Ah. Most. I don't know why my T's are doing that today. All right, number appears most often. Okay, so that's our mode. Okay. All right. Now our last one is mid range. Now, first thing, okay, the mid range is not the range. So mid range, I know some of you know range. It's different. So mid range is not is not. A range okay it's not they don't equal the same thing okay so we know you know what the range is is just is is your highest number minus the lowest number that's the range okay so your range is highest minus your lowest right but that's not what we're doing Okay, we're not doing that. We want mid range. And our mid range, gosh. Our mid range is a little different. It's our highest number, the highest number plus lowest. And all that is divided by two. Okay, so it's our highest number plus our lowest number, and then that divided by two. So basically, it's our average. It's our mean. Our mean of the range. It's basically what what it is. Okay, so looking at our two no our set of numbers here. Okay, looking at our set of numbers here, we have our, our and now the order already in order, so it makes it a lot easier too. We have. <clears throat> lowest number is 1, highest number is 10. So it's highest number plus right, our lowest number, which is 1, and that equals, oh, huh. Oof, man. so high, <laughs> highest number 10 plus our lowest number 1 equals 11, and then that's going to be divided by 2, and 11 divided by 2, you can either leave it as a decimal or as a fraction, or if you want to decimal it up, 11 divided by 2 equals 5.5. Yep. And that's it. So that's mid range. Okay, so remember, mid range is not the range. And when you find when you when I when you do your assignment on this, it's gonna ask you for mid range, not the range. So don't get those two confused. Alright. So that's what it is. So mean, mean, medium mode, mid range. That's uh that's what we're doing for this part here.